Hey everybody, I'm back again. Um, so I got a lot of my stuff moved up here to this floating triangle base thing we have. Now that I've built this and moved some stuff up here, I don't actually like it all that much. It's way too flat. I should have um, I should have picked a more interesting sort of three-dimensional structure. There's also no no ceiling of any type on it. Maybe if I maybe if I built a roof, it would help. Okay, so like I could build another triangle, just I don't know, ten blocks up or something. That would probably make things a little bit nicer in here. But I also like the sunlight. I don't know. Anyway, um, so let's uh, take a quick tour and see what's changed. This is all the same. Um, I have a few project chests here for stuff we, we kind of want to do. All these signs here are just supposed to be kind of dividing up the, um, the place into uh, different, not exactly rooms because there's no walls between them, but just different sections that do different things. Um, so this stuff's all still doing fine. I think I... I can't remember if I had two sawmills before or not, but I added a second one. Um, this is pretty hard to see. I don't know why I put the sawmills down here. I'm using routers to move stuff around, so I don't think they really need to be down there. Um, so I could probably move those into a better place, but for now they're down there below the boiler. Uh, boiler's keeping them fed just fine with planks. This is slowly filling up with charcoal. Once it gets to a certain threshold, basically... Um, once this system gets clogged a little bit too much, uh, the the sawmills won't be able to run anymore, and the boiler will have to switch over to charcoal, and uh, it'll self-balance. It'll, it'll uh, make some room for the planks again. So yeah, that's all doing great. Uh, I have a few barrels here for overflow of tree farm products. I'm going to have to do something with these saplings. I might just start void piping them, because I don't really feel a need to make biomass out of them. I guess I could stick them in the boiler to burn, but they wouldn't do too much. Um, apples I might just eat. Um, but yeah, I, I just I mostly just want the wood out of this, so I'll probably just void pipe those two things. Um, as long as I keep enough saplings to keep growing this. Uh, so, have a bunch of alivieries over here. Um, these are all set up with routers, keeping these frame housings fed with untreated frames, four per alviary. This is fairly reminiscent of what we did in the previous world. Um, we have a fabricator here making the untreated frames. Uh, this is... This wood is getting routed over from the, um, from the tree farm over there. And this just puts it into... Well, there's another router down below that that inserts things into there. And it does pretty well. So what do we have running in here? Uh, impregnable, Imperial, Industrious, Cultivated, Sinister, Ender, and Lapis. So that'll change. Uh, Ender is kind of a temporary one. I I do like to have bees producing Ender Pearls for me, and I guess they're doing a pretty good job of it. Those will turn into um, 125th of that number of Ender Pearls if I... I, I just ha don't have a system set up for automating that yet. So routers are great for moving things into... Um, Basically, taking a bunch of unsorted items and sorting them into one item per container somewhere. They're not so great if you want to uh, do filtering or put, like, multiple items into certain containers. So I have kind of a... Uh, I have some buildcraft pipes down here sorting things out. Uh, it's an APRS pipe that makes sure that any... What is this? This is for excess drones, I think? Yeah, so if any, if any of these fill up with bees... That just makes sure don't, drones don't get put into this system of centrifuges I have here. So this is kind of my genetics lab here, and uh, right below it is the uh, bee product processing station. So anything that goes in this chest, which is where those build pi build craft pipes end up, uh, I think I just have, let's see, yeah, I have this sorting out any non-comb products, and uh, products that are combs go this way. Um, right, so if I put any combs in there, they'll get routed into these centrifuges, which, uh, then get their products out of the combs, and then end up in this router, which is the one that inserts them into the barrels here. So here's storage for my B, B products, I'll expand this as I, as I get more items. Um, yeah, so the, the other side of that pipe goes to this chest. So anything that's not a comb that I want to go into the system can be put in there. So I can take a few combs out of here and stick them in the system to be processed. I have emerald bees. 
And that's one breed away from having ruby bees, which is kind of the uh, end of the line for me, because that's all I'm all I'm interested in having bees produced for me. Also working on austere bees in the nether here. Move my nether portal up here. Um, I don't know how how they're doing in there. Let's go check. Zombie pigmen might be angry at me, so let's not leave our little cobblestone shelter too much here. Um, so yeah, that's still going. Needs more soul frames. Okay. So I should do that before I do too much else. Today what I'd like to do is uh, I'd like to set up a system for creating uh, useful resources out of nothing, basically. So you can centrifuge lava. Let's take a look at this. Um, so like if I had a lava capsule, or just flowing lava, uh, in an industrial centrifuge, I can get tin, copper, electrum, and tungsten out of it. Furthermore, obsidian contains a few things. Uh, let's see, obsidian dust can be electrolyzed for a little bit of iron. And magnesium, which is not very useful, but hang on, there's, there's something more I can do here. Let's see, magnesium... No, no, uh... I know there was something more I could do... Uh, so, so we can get iron, we can get copper, tin, gold and silver, or electrum, if we just leave this like this, because I could pulverize it and uh, centrifuge the dust to get the gold and the silver. Copper, copper dust can turn into something. I think. Um, and, you know, of course, uh, lava and obsidian can be generated from basically nothing, just uh, a bit of power. Um, where's the where's the thing I'm looking for? Brass, bronze, sure, we can make all that. Okay, here we go. Nickel and gold. And nickel can be further processed into something, I think. If I wanted a little bit more gold and iron and some more copper. And I don't have a lot of use for nickel, so I'll, I'll probably do that with a with little bit that I get. But I guess that's if I were... If I didn't want to keep my copper around. Anyway, um, so we're, we're getting iron from obsidian and uh, gold from the electrum from the centrifuge. Anyway, or we, we will be once we set this up. So that's, that's kind of the plan for that. Um... I was coming here to get soul frames, that's right. So that my austere bees will have a better chance of mutating. Uh, so I'm going to put that in there, and then we'll start taking a look at... Uh, basically, I so I have some good MJ power generation with that boiler there. I want to turn that into an EU power system as well. And I did some research, uh, did some math, figured out the... figured out what would be the most optimal way to do that. So basically there's... There are a lot of options. Um, I could just burn the wood that's coming out of here in a generator. Uh, and that would give me, was it 750 EU? Yeah, 750 EU per plank. Um, I could burn it in a boiler and put a steam turbine on this. But as I found out, steam turbines are actually pretty poor conversion. Um, they don't give me particularly good efficiency. It's, it's better to put these in a generator. But what's better than both of those things is... Um, to use a lava fabricator, which is something we haven't used in the previous world, but I have a few of them here. They're a mine factory reloaded thing. They're basically like a magma crucible, um, but they don't require any cobblestone or nether rack or obsidian to melt down into lava. Uh, the magma crucible is slightly more efficient if you feed it nether rack, but I don't want my power system to depend on getting nether rack. But yeah, we would then feed the lava from those things into a whole bunch of thermal generators that I've already made here. And this will produce a little more than 512 EU per tick. So that'll be pretty good. So that's a bit more than the output of one MFSU being generated uh, every tick. So obviously we'd like to power up our matter fabricator with that. I may need additional boilers to be able to support the system. Uh, these have redstone energy cells in them, which are Looks like they're full. Okay. If I start using some of this machinery that's connected to those, they'll drain down a little bit. Um, I think I could probably support another boiler with this tree farm here, because this one this one lets its fuel stack up pretty quick. And, I mean, it's running on planks, 
So the charcoal alone might be enough to support a second boiler here. So we'll do that if we feel the need. But uh, for now, oh yeah, let's look at this thing. Um, so added a bunch of lasers in there. It manufactured stuff pretty quick. Let's make some redstone chipsets because I think I need a few. Let's make 16 of them and show you how quick it goes. We may have done something like this before, but we... yeah, it's pretty speedy because normally that that takes quite a while. Anyway, so we have that going. That's that's definitely going to be draining these things noticeably. Well, not very quickly though. Anyway, um, so I'm going to think a little bit about how to lay this out and come up with some sort of design that looks like it'll hopefully work. And we'll be back in a moment when uh, when we're ready to test it out. Quick detour. Uh, I wanted to go over to this uh, quarry site where I have the saltpeter ore spawner, or possibly multiple spawners down there. I'm not sure if it's if it's just one in the center that has a big range, or if it's actually one spawner per saltpeter ore spot. I don't know which which way it works, but um, so I filled this in with sand and haven't yet seen any sign of saltpeter spawning down here. Let's just dig up the top layer and see if we spot any. No, I mean, we would have seen some by now because I do have these chunk loaders here keeping this loaded. However, uh, I set up a little platform up here closer to the what would be the ground level and look at that. There's saltpeter right there. So this little spot works for creating saltpeter ore. Um, let's see how much we actually got. I looked up the spawning rules on it. Um, what I read was claiming you need sandstone below the blocks in order to in order for it to appear, but apparently cobblestone or maybe just just plain old sand works. So we got a few saltpeter ores uh, generated from this. So that's pretty cool. Um, not actually sure I need all that saltpeter. I just kind of wanted to play with this spawner uh, since it's it's a new toy that we haven't haven't tried before. Um, but if we do have use for it, then we know a way to produce it here. Um, and I could do some trickery with pistons, so basically like I could push this to the side. If it's sand, it'll fall down. If it's saltpeter ore, it'll hover, and then I could detect which is which. Replace it with sand every time an ore comes out. Um, I'm not sure there's a way I could automatically silk touch it. I could just break it and get the saltpeter dust out of it. Let's see what this is like. So let's see. Smelt for three, pulverize for four, and some niter. Macerate for five, grind for seven. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty big uh, efficiency increase. Anyway, but we're not uh, we're not here to mess with saltpeter. Um, that's just sort of a diversion. Uh, I'm gonna go back here and continue setting up my industrial craft power system. All right, let's give this a try. So there are certainly more efficient and less ugly ways of doing this, but this should at least do the job. So I've placed down the thermal generators. There are liquid ducts running to all of them. All I have to do is put the lava fabricators down here and watch them work. Okay, so it looks like... Looks to me like we don't have enough energy output from the uh, steam engines over here, or I guess from the, the energy cells, to keep up with those. Yeah, it's definitely draining them pretty quick. Okay, so that answers one of my questions. I tried, uh, I kind of did a test run of this setup with just um, just one lava fabricator, and it couldn't come anywhere close to keeping up with uh, all of these thermal generators. It looks like these three are almost keeping up, but not quite. Let's see how our power here is doing. And it's going up. Uh, let's find our EU reader and see how much they're getting. Where would I keep that? Haven't really organized these uh, chests very well. It's probably in here. Yeah. I just uh, used a gravity gun to pull them up from down below and haven't haven't put them into their final positions yet. Okay, actually, let's measure this. So 141, 147, 147. Yeah, that that could be more. Okay, so we would want to feed these. Now, I don't know. Maybe they are getting fed with as much energy as they can take here. Let's let's find something out. Uh, give me some levers. Uh, I would keep levers in here. Here we go. So we can use a lever to deactivate these lava fabricators. 
Although that's not actually what I want to do. Um, okay, sure. So those have full energy. Let's see. So they got to get get through their idol. I want to see if this goes down, or if it stays stable. Like it might have it might have been getting an oh that went down real quick. Okay. So we could definitely feed these more power and get more lava out of it. All right. So we need at least one more boiler. It looks like. Um, in order to make this work well, and yeah, these are these are draining quick. Oh man, yeah, we gotta set up another boiler like right now. Okay, let me make another boiler and see if we can feed it with the uh, same stuff as we're feeding this one. And um, let's see, I could probably stick it right here, and it would just keep on pulling out of that chest. It'll be ugly, but yeah, I'm I'm going more for function in this world than aesthetics. So, yeah, let me see if I can just make another boiler, and we'll try heating it up, and see how much it helps us there, and see if we even have enough fuel to do that. I think we will. So I'll be right back. All right, I think we're mostly ready here. So I decided it would be a lot easier to move this chest than to uh, move a boiler once it's already heated up, so I decided to put it over here, because having it protrude this way would just be inconvenient, because I do come to this chest to get planks of charcoal when I need them. So, let's see here. What I'm going to do is pick up that chest with one of these, set it over there for the moment. Uh, I'm going to move this router, and I'd like it to keep all its state, so let's see if we can manage to uh, give it a place to sit here. And then put it there. Because it has a lot of upgrades that are configured a certain way, and I just, I just don't want to bother reconfiguring it. Can I pick one of these up? I can, and it turns into a crazy weird block. All right, yeah, extract oak wood planks from anywhere. Uh, sawmill only, eject to top. Okay, so pick this up, put it here. Oh, and there it goes. Okay, cool, so that's starting with charcoal. And then it's gonna get planks, it looks like. That's fine. You can do whatever you need to do, and I think that'll probably just uh, heat all the way up without me needing to babysit it, since it, it's right next to a nice fuel chest. Cool. Uh, I'll, I'll check it periodically, just to make sure the uh, sawmills haven't fallen horribly behind. Um, so while that heats up, I, I need to finish crafting my industrial steam engines, because I didn't actually have quite enough steel to do that, so making a little bit more here, I think this should get me there. So I just have to bend those into steel plates, then craft the engines themselves, and we'll have twice the MJ generation, so that'll be pretty nice. Hopefully that'll be enough to keep those lava fabricators going. I kind of have a feeling that it's not. And, um, let's see, how many do I need? I need 54, so that'll get us there. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to need another lava fabricator for, um, for the, uh, the lava and obsidian centrifuge machine. Um that I'm going to be building up there. So yeah, we'll probably need at least a third boiler, maybe maybe a fourth one after that. Um, but we'll see how we do with just two for the moment. So let's see, I think I have all the appropriate ingredients here, except not enough steel gears. That's right, I need a, a lot more steel for that. Okay, so I'm not close to uh, having enough just yet, because I still need to do... We have half... Uh, Half enough gears. Uh, half enough, half... Why does that sound so weird? Half of... Half as many as we need uh, to make all the gears we need. So I have to wait for uh, a few more of these to smelt. All right, so we'll put that on hold. This probably won't be heated up to 100 degrees for a little while. Um, so we have some time to wait. Yeah, it's burning through its stuff, but not at an alarmingly fast rate. This one's at full heat, so it's going slowly. This one's on planks now, which is fine. I'll just let it... I'll just let it go. Um, in fact, I do want to take this opportunity to get rid of some of these saplings. Let's see if I can get it to burn some of them. Because if I stick these in here, and then put this in here, and that there... There we go. Yes, eat those saplings. Oh man, that hardly even keeps up with it. <laughs> I think we're actually losing a little bit of heat by doing that, so maybe we shouldn't do that too much. Well, I'll, I'll give it the rest of the saplings I have on me. Okay. 
because yeah, it can't fill the stack quickly enough to actually keep it burning because it's it's depleting it before more come into it. Um, okay, good. There's some charcoal. All right, so I need to wait for that steel to smelt. While we wait for that, though, um, well, first let's see how all this stuff is doing. That's empty. That's empty. That's empty. How are these looking? Those are not, since these aren't getting as much power as they need, not by a long shot, uh, these aren't getting a chance to fill up. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> hope I don't need MJ for anything soon, because um, I'm going to have to wait for uh, this to finish what it's doing to have an opportunity to, to get any more. Um, that's going to use all that charcoal, which is fine. I actually want to pull a little bit out just so I can make sure I have enough for my blast furnaces. I'm pretty sure I do. I wish these would uh, pull in fuel as they needed it, so I wouldn't have to run these things, but I guess those aren't a particularly big deal. All right, so yeah, while we wait for this steel to smelt, let's start on our resource generator, because basically I don't want to be going mining for anything if I can avoid it. Mining's kind of fun, but that's... I, I'm trying to manufacture as much as I can up here without having to go down to the ground. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention, uh, I forgot to say it in my last episode, um, so I only have one jetpack. I turned this into an advanced nano chest plate, which is really, really easy to make. I just combined the advanced jet jetpack with the nano chest plate, which is very easy to make. Um, yeah, so I only have the one jetpack. You know, if I, if I fall down to the ground right now, I'm going to die. Here, let's do it. Whee! <laughs> now, there's a reason I can do this and feel okay with it. To some of you, this is going to be blasphemy, but I'm playing with keep inventory on, so I don't lose anything when I die other than my place. Because I was playing with, uh, in normal mode, and, um, I don't know, just, if, if you die down in the middle of a caving trip with all sorts of resources on you, lots of non-renewable stuff, oh yeah, great tech machines do this, don't click on them when they're like that. Okay, now it's safe to click, but if you click like that, they will crash. Um, anyway, right, so, oh yeah, it's, it's in the, uh, in the MFSU here. So yeah, I just wasn't wasn't really enjoying the game, and what I'm trying to do here isn't made better by having deaths um, set me back by so much. So I just decided to try and keep inventory and have been able to enjoy the game a lot more because of it. I didn't realize though, but it also actually keeps your experience bar, so you don't even lose levels when you die. <laughs> I would have been okay with losing levels, but but you don't. So I get to keep everything. Anyway, um, right, so we are working on getting this system set up. So I have a bunch of supplies in here. My inventory's too full. Uh, I should ditch some of these planks. Yeah, let's do that right now. So I have a bunch of supplies in there to uh, do all the stuff I wanted to do. Man, this is just filling up with planks. Neither of you are burning charcoal. Why isn't that... Okay, it's going up slowly. The uh, sawmill's just taking its time to make the sawdust. It needs to generate that. Anyway, right, so we want to set up a um, a thing for... Let's do the lava first. And, in fact, we're going to need another lava fabricator. Hmm, that'll be interesting. Okay, so we need to make another lava fabricator. And, again, you can make lava more efficiently with... Uh, a an igneous extruder, no, a magma crucible. If you have uh, netherrack to feed it, but I I don't want this to depend on netherrack. Okay, blaze rod, obsidian, magma cream, factory machine block, and plastic sheets. I should have all of those things. Um, let's see. There's our blaze rod. There's our magma cream. We needed two obsidian, three plastic sheets, and a machine block. This is such a mess. Let's see, my which, which one of these is my machine chest? It's this one. Um, where? Okay, good. So we make another lava fabricator. That one's going to supply our industrial centrifuge with lava, so it can manufacture copper and all those other things. Um, I don't know if this one lava fabricator is going to be enough for it. I certainly don't have enough MJ to power anymore. We don't even have enough for these uh, three we have here. So, yeah, we're, we'll probably need at least one more boiler, probably two more. 
That's fine. This looks like it's keeping up, although now that it's run out of charcoal, I'm kind of curious what's going to happen. But as this heats up, the, uh, the pressure will be taken off a bit more. Anyway, um, right, so lava fabricator. I'm not going to hook this into the grid just yet. Let's, um, yeah, I kind of wanted this area to be my ore generation and processing place. Um, where's the closest conduit? All the way over there, huh? Okay, well, I'll just try a conduit over here to wherever I want this thing to live. And it's going to need EU, so actually, let's put it close to this stuff. All right, let's see. Um, just, just just, set it down, Alex. <laughs> Stop being so picky about where you put it. Okay, so there's our lava fabricator. I wonder if this can just output directly into a uh, an industrial centrifuge. Let's find out. Do I have that on me? I do not. What's the electrolyzer for? Is that for the obsidian? That's probably for the obsidian. All right, so if we put an industrial centrifuge straight on top of that thing and give it some power, let's see what happens. This comes down and hooks into this, I guess, like that. Sure, that'll work fine. This stuff doesn't have any loss, so I can run it as far as I want to. All right, so that's going to be draining our power. It's getting a little bit. Looks like it is indeed putting it in here, right? Because I don't see any here. Yeah, it's going there. Okay, cool. So this is getting lava. And uh, yeah, you can just put it straight in here and it'll centrifuge when it has power. So let's give it some power. Um, let's see, a centrifuge is what? Is that a 32 EU per tick machine? Uh, yes, it is. So let's just go ahead and use some transformers on that. I know I could give it a transformer upgrade, but uh, I don't remember exactly how those work in Greg Tech machines. I don't trust just sticking two in there and hoping it's fine. I'm pretty sure I have a spare LV transformer here somewhere. It'd be in here if I... No, in... <laughs> Gotta organize these chests. Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh! I had an extra one of those, too. Cool. I'll have to put that put that there. Uh, so, right. Just the one centrifuge, though. It's possible I want more. So, let's just go ahead and put this... I don't know, here. Uh, other way. Uh, I need another wrench. Let's just break it and place it again. Because you don't... Those can just be broken. And we need an MV transformer. How do you make one of those? That's pretty simple. Actually, I want to let's let's see how our boiler and steel are doing. That is very nearly to the point where it's going to be generating steam. Do I have enough steel to make the gears I need? Doesn't look like it. How far? How close are we? Still pretty far off. Okay. Well, I could put some engines on there. Sure. Let's let's make some of the engines since we have all this stuff on us. Go ahead and put those on the grid. Uh, I have a whole bunch of levers. I don't need to make more. Um, they would be in here. There we go. 98. Real close. Okay. Let's harvest the steam. Some of it at least. Um, so we need one of these running. Let's do this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, those will be activated by those levers. Good, good. Nine, ten, eleven. Aren't you at a hundred? Oh, you are. Shouldn't you be going? Shouldn't you be going? Does this have to get all the way to... Uh, it's outputting to somewhere. Okay, there they go. Cool. Okay, so we're harvesting that steam. 
generating some more MJ with it. Good. Um, and I, I want to keep making these engines because I don't want to be wasting stuff. can make one more. All right, well, I need to just accept that we're not going to get all of the steam used. Okay, that's fine. So put one more in here and then just leave that until the rest of our steam is done smelting. Uh, steam? Steel. All right, um, so we put down one lava fabricator here. It's, oh good, it's filled up the industrial centrifuge with two lava source blocks so far. How many does it take to uh, 16? Okay, so it'll be a while before it gets a chance to do that. This is going to be fairly slow with just one of these and one of these. Um, I do wonder what the ratio of these two is going to be like. Will, will this keep up with this? I don't know. Um, so let's see, give me some copper cable. I, the reason I put this uh, transformer here is because I kind of feel like I'll probably want to put a few more centrifuges along there. Um, and probably maybe each one with their own lava fabricator? I don't know. Um, but yeah, we need an MV transformer, which we saw how to make a second ago. With two of these and a machine block. So let's see, the next step after that, I guess actually those two things are the only things we need for the lava resources. Um, you know, we could we could route them to better places and maybe uh, pulverize and centrifuge the electrum if we wanted gold and silver out of it, but I don't know that I want to go to all that trouble right now. Um, don't I have some glass fiber cables somewhere? Here we go. Hopefully this doesn't explode. I think I got everything right. Yep. And that can't actually uh, do anything until it gets a little more lava. Okay. All right, so that's that part done, at least for now. Let's work on the next part. So we want an igneous extruder with an aqueous accumulator under it. This is also going to need lava. So let's double dip on this lava and have it also output to this thing. It should be okay. And, uh, you know, that might not be the best. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I'm going to hook into, yeah, let's let's put this, so, um, mm, this should be okay. All right, so we'll have our aqueous, wait. Yeah, 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 aqueous accumulator here. That's not a thing that needs power, but there's a reason I put it like that, because I want to bring this up to give the... Wait a minute. No, no. Igneous extruders don't take power either. <laughs> okay. Forgot about that. I want that back. But where did it go? Where did it go? Was that it? There it is. Okay. Good. Alright, so... Aqueous accumulator, igneous extruder... Igneous extruder is next to the lava fabricator, so it'll get lava, so it can make obsidian. Fill this in again, put this here, and we're gonna need water next to it, of course. I think I actually have two buckets on me, don't I? I do. This is the only spring I have up here. I had a, uh, a tallow golem here. He must have fallen off the edge and died. So he's nowhere to be found. I don't know what happened to him. Um, Alright, so that's there. Now we get one of these and put it here. And let it take water from the bottom. And apparently it's getting lava, uh, yeah, from the back, good. Um, make obsidian. And we want to put that obsidian into a pulverizer. That's a thing that needs power. So now I feel like I should have put this on the other side. Oh well, uh, pulverizer here. We can just route some conduits to it. 
This is going to spill water out down below, isn't it? Can I do it quick enough? No, no, not quick enough. Oh well, whatever. Okay, so that'll go up here. Uh, yep. So you output to the right. You accept input from the left. Why is that not... Oh, there it goes. Okay. And it's pulverizing. Good. And then that needs to output to an industrial electrolyzer, which probably doesn't accept the things from the bottom, does it? Let's find out. No, that's what I thought. Okay, so that went to the wrong place. So this pulverizer is actually going to need to put that... Is it the side? I think it's the top. Hmm. So if we need to put that into the top, how are we going to accomplish that? Ah, this Omni Wrench sometimes works, but... Oh, there we go. Good. Um, on Greg Tech Machines, it often likes to, uh, to only work on the bottom side for some reason. All right, so I guess really the simplest thing to do here is, um, mm, thinking, thinking, I can use a buildcraft pipe. Though I'm not sure that the electrolyzer will keep up with the pulverizer, so I'd rather just have it ejecting directly into it. I guess I could actually put the electrolyzer right down here. Move this water somewhere else. Should I just do that? No, that'd be hard to wire. Okay, let's move all this stuff. Um, so pick you up as soon as you're done with that. And I want you to stop... There we go. Um, I want you to actually stop making lava at a convenient time so none is wasted. Which means I have to wait for this. Two, four, six, eight. Two, six, eight. Right like that. Good. Perfect. Eh, close enough. All right. So as soon as that makes obsidian, we pick it up. And pick up our water. I should probably do this off camera. Um, oop, oop, well, that worked. Yeah, let me uh, let me figure out an appropriate layout for this um, and set it up. But just do another quick check here. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's, that's not what I really wanted to see. But this is going up, so maybe it's okay. Hmm. This is doing fine. Let's um, see how this thing does on saplings again. Here, have some have some saplings. Can it keep up now that it's heated up a bit? Not quite. Okay. Well, um, I'll stick them in there, and they'll they'll burn. I don't have the inventory space to do this. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'll babysit this a little bit. Get my steel to finish so I can put the other. Uh, six engines on here and uh, figure out a good layout for this then we'll be back to see how it's all gone well this certainly turned into a mess but I think it's probably gonna work um, so I ended up having to put the aqueous accumulator up above uh, to get this layout to work properly um, so yeah lava fabricator supplies centrifuge oh good cool centrifuge has made some copper tin electrum and tungsten nice um, so yeah, that's all doing its job. Uh, problem is, I just realized I need to put cells in here because um, because this thing takes cells and makes silicon and compressed air, so it has some waste products. I mean, I could pull this out of the cells with a liquid transposer or an extractor, um, or I could blast furnace it for silicon plates, but I don't use that many of those. Uh, I can just craft this back into cells and put them back in there, but I don't know. I'm starting to think that the um, that electrolyzing obsidian dust might not really be worth it, and I'd be better off just running more centrifuges, because, you know, I can run four centrifuges for the cost of one electrolyzer. Um, and as we saw, 
I could use the copper to get iron, so that's probably a better idea. So I might take this down and um, get rid of the electrolyzer and just add more centrifuges instead. Maybe pulverize some of the copper, um, keep some of it, and turn the pulverized copper into iron. Because we saw we can do that. Uh, this... Hey, those are keeping fed a little bit better, it looks like, maybe? Yeah, uh, so I managed to, I got enough steel to make all but one of my engines. I think I probably have the last little bit I needed now. Let's check on it. Yeah! There we go, okay. So I can make the last engine. And I had to go get a few more burnable things to, uh, to put into that boiler, because it was depleting my resources. Um, hopefully it's hot enough that it's not doing that anymore. Let's check. So this goes here, and that should be fully, fully harvesting all the steam. How's this look? Mm, not that great. I'll probably, I'll pull some charcoal out of these chests since I'm done smelting steel for the moment. Just so it can catch up. Um, yeah, and that should keep us going for a while. And if nothing else, uh, I can just take some of this unused birch wood and uh, put it in my induction furnace down there to turn it into charcoal. That's where I got some of the stuff that I put in here. All right, so we did some stuff. Um, I think I'm going to call it right about here. Uh, this system is not great, but it is just barely kind of doing the job. Um, the centrifuge part is good. Uh, I want to route that somewhere else. Yeah, I think I think I'm just going to take down the electrolyzer because uh, let's let's go ahead and turn this off. In fact, because um, now that I've just looked at how this has to be configured and how worthwhile the obsidian is compared to the lava, I think it's just not worth electrolyzing it. So yeah, we'll just run more centrifuges, uh, pulverizing centrifuge copper if we need. Didn't I turn you off? Oh, no, I didn't. I need to do this. <laughs> uh, right, pulverize and centrifuge copper. Uh, if we need... I want to... Eh. 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 Cl close enough. Um, if we need uh, iron from it. Um, so, right, after... Um, after we get all that done... Uh, I'll probably add another boiler or two here, just so we can uh, get this system going. This is this is running decently now, so we have we do have the full uh, MJ output of both of those things. It's still not powering these up too great. What if I turn this one off? Let's see how it looks when we do that. And actually, let's let's look at our uh, energy cells here. What do they look like? Empty, 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 okay. So these are definitely consuming too much power. Yeah, okay. So, need more boilers. Uh, and I'm not really certain this system can support more. Maybe if I add more sawmills? It is going through that oak wood. Just about as fast as it's produced, so I don't know. We might need to do something else or set up another tree farm here for that. Anyway, uh, so we got some EU power generation. This is this is here. Um, I can I can finally move the rest of my machinery that's down here. That's that's mainly what's left down below. We have um, all the crops. Haven't touched those since then. All of this industrial machinery. <laughs> this crazy tower is still intact. And, uh, right, scrap machine, I'll probably move that at some point. These farms, I don't know what I'll do with them. Maybe I'll just shut them down. Um, because the methane idea was kind of cool and fun to do, but, um, I'm... What, where am I? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm, uh, ready to move on past it, and instead, I guess, use those thermal generators. I'll set up the lightning rod again for any additional EU we might get from lightning strikes. Uh, and actually, you know, what I should do here is go ahead and just hook the matter fabricator into this system while I'm thinking about it. Because that was most of the point of uh, putting that whole thing together. Where did I stick that thing? Is it in this chest? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So matter fabricator goes here. And it'll need some amplifier, but yeah, that can finally be producing UU matter. Good. 
All right, uh, so I'm going to cut it off here. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.